Hey guys, welcome to Akashic Affirmations. My name is Angel, and those of you who are new, thank you for subscribing, um, as well as my returning uh, viewers. Um, Libra, uh, in your astrology, um, it's really um, going to be difficult when it comes to uh, changing dramas that either involve you or others okay um could be teachers could be schooling um this is aspected because um it's position your position with mercury uh i mean it it, it could even be as, it could go as far as your spiritual teachers having dramas in their own life um relationships could be tested at this point now Venus, the ruler of your horoscope, um, is going to make a long station. It's going to kind of like camp out on Pluto, um, which is your financial planet. Um, this is going to be very important to you because of the money people in your life. Um, this is uh, prosperity. Um, also, when it comes to weight loss and detox regimens, there, that's going to go extremely well. Um, Subtime surgery is going to be recommended. Now, on the 30th, Jupiter will move into your sixth house. And this is time for a long, uh, it's a, it says, in this time, it's for the long haul. Okay. Job seekers will have great opportunities in the, in the coming year. So, um, I'm going to have a room reading done for y'all because I did um, incorporate that in the Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and uh, Leo videos. So, for uh, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, I'm just going to give y'all a, uh, a reading by yourself for that specific purpose. It might not be too long of a video, but um, we'll see. Okay, guys, as I was shuffling your cards, um, a brand new love, right? The Ace of Cups come out. So this is something that's brand new that's happening to you, Libra, and it is keeping you up at night. Hmm. What that's about, we shall see. Um, I will be reading directly from the Fairy Oracle. Um, this is to a summer falling in love. Let <laughs> see, told you. Making a serious commitment to someone. Um, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. And in the Mystical Shaman Oracle, you have the council. Okay, so the council, they asking me to read this to you. Um, the essence of the council. The council are the luminous beings who hold the collective wisdom of humanity. I'm getting chills. Um, they are the ones before whom you will do your life review with when you cross into the world of spirit. A life review is when we place our good and our bad deeds on a divine scale and attempt to explain why we did not love or forgive or dare as greatly as we might have. Know that their wisdom is available to you at all times when you live in a state of yes, in an unconditional relationship with life. They remind you of your place around a sacred fire which has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. You will claim it when you own your inner wisdom. 
the invitation. The council has a message for you. Listen with your inner senses. The handwriting is already on the wall. So look about you and you will discern its meaning. Do not wait for further signs. Embark on the journey to love deeply. Forgive sincerely and dare greatly. Take the leap without requiring life to assure you of success. The medicine. You are never alone. Turn to the council to find the guidance you seek and listen to the voice that arises spontaneously. Turn a deaf ear to that nagging voice from your ego that tells you that you are not up for the task before you. Create a spiritual feast for the council. Invite them to your altar every time you meditate or pray. I have chills everywhere. That message is for somebody. We're going to give you the, um, usually, um, I don't read it beforehand. Wow. Okay, guys. So, Libra, your reading is very thorough so far. Everything's coming together so well. Sometimes I have some hard-headed uh, people that connect with me, I guess. And uh, it's very hard sometimes. It's very uh, sporadic. Let's see. What's going on with you? Oh, drama. <laughs> right? Didn't I tell you in your, ast your astrology? Drama, other people's stuff, other people's own actions. Okay, this is the giddy up to uh, to conquer this stuff. Okay, look at him. Uh, I'm getting on my horse, right? With passion, fire under me, <laughs> and I'm going conquer this. Because hmm. you feel that. Right now at this time, when you got the giddy, when you get the giddy up, see this? You're like, look, I'm dropping my swords in a mouth. You can have all my swords because I don't even want them anymore. All of this mental stuff, see, each and every one's got their own clarity on the situation. This guy here says, oh yeah, I'm going to win no matter what. I will take your sword, your sword, your sword, and your sword. Look, this one's crying, right? This one had to pick up some clothes and leave. Overall, this is the uh, sabotage card. So, by you having this passion to defeat, to go towards this, uh, this drama, right? You're conquering it. Um, you either feel that you either had to, we're going to go on with it, but you either feel like you had to get out of there for your own reasons, and just say, you know what, look, my hands are done, I'm just, my hands are, are, are clean now, I want to say. Because you have that sense. That's all I got to say. You have, you have guide, source, wisdom, experience up above. You have the knowledge of, of right and wrong. Yeah. This is a hierarchy of, of uh, 
you know, going above and, and see how he's pointing above. Let's see if we can get, there you go. See how he's pointing above? That's supposed to be the Pope, okay? So all of this is great seeing this card, okay? You got the passion towards conquering. Look, you got family. Yep. Yep. You know that you have to do this because the rest of the bull don't matter. It does not matter. What you're building now is creating, is coming from God. It, it, it's all what you've done so far you've used everything that you could I mean all your 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 heart your 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 spirituality with the things that matter to you is now creating the building that you need but to you see taking action towards its movement towards see that pentacle he's got in his hand he's not the page that took the action he's now moving towards like a little bit more stability in his life yep this is tangible nights of movement You either left somebody out in the cold. Look, spirit, see spirit. See this this light right here? That's spirit. Okay. That see see the same glass window? That's above you. You either left somebody out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. But I think that you walking away from all of this. You leaving them out in the cold. See? All the drama. You're like, I'm out. I need to take my action towards what really matters to me. And that's my family. See these two kids in the back? Yay, be happy. I gotta walk away because of this. So you're sabotaging right all of them. <laughs> This is not, this is page right here is, I hate this card. I'm not saying I hate it, but it says what it says. This is a message of problems. Okay, so you're like, right, look, it comes in underneath the, the sabotage card. So you're like, uh-uh, I got to drop my swords because of that, right? Because there was something that come through. Some a page's message. Something come through where it was affecting. You. Yep, your love, like your happiness. Let's see. So you 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 said, Lord, hold and use your mouth. Look at this. Oh my. God. I love it when things just play out like this. Okay, so you had you, this queen right here. Imagine in the um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, the Queen of Hearts, okay? But it's portrayed wrong, really, because, you know, she says, off with your head. Well, imagine that sword right there and you saying exactly what was up. Blah, there it is. Because this, because of this, because I know better. This is why. <laughs> this is why I had to use my mouth. God told me to. You understand? You got that message. You went, blah. There it is. <laughs> take it or don't take it. I love it. 
definitely, oh, well, sorry, and there completes the cycle. I'm, I'm not only done as the world turns, right? This is, uh, this is cycle completion, okay? You start here, right, you're halfway done. I've done felt what I needed to feel. I've gotten out of it what I needed to get out of it. I'm telling you. Case out. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look. You went within. And you found, you was fine, you had to go within the fun that healing, that, see, this is the star, which is you healing something, okay, um, you pouring our, all of your energy into everything and healing the situation where you had to go and walk about, you know how they say that, I need to go and walk about, I need to go figure it out. That's this card. Look, I don't care if I gotta stand in the cold and be on my own and cloak myself. But I got the action, I got the wand in my hand. I'm going to find this. Look. I'm willing to get to the situation now. Where before. I wasn't willing to look at it. I wasn't willing to even put the effort in to give to what needed to be done. See? Towards the action, the God given action. See that hand of God giving you the brand new inspiration to do this. Towards loving your family. This is awesome. You're not, you're not even, you walking away from me. You could have been even feeding other individuals that you walked away from because of drama. Is that how he's giving? Well, I'm just, I'm just giving because I got a little extra here. Here comes the problem. Oh, there's the love and communication. <laughs> So, right? Because Eight of Wands, okay, is still no matter what, it's arrows of love. Okay, it's a loving communication about it. So you wasn't really, really harsh about it. You said to them that I'm done with it, but you did it gently. I want to say that. <laughs> or you gave heartfelt communication and, and said it. And, and said it. Yep. Yep. Oh, look. You manifested this. I, I, I love this. I love this. I love this reading. The magician manifests everything so I think you set this up that's what I'm getting you set up a little in your head you're like ooh I gotta do this I gotta say that I'm committed to who I really need to be I need to, to say I love I need to bring everything, every, oh my God, he needed to become whole, that one, that, that, um, you know, when you come in and you're like, I need to make a decision, okay, I need to look at all aspects, and I'm telling you, if they come out with this, you know, if they come out with that, if they come out with this, I'll have something to say, because of this reason, this is why I have to complete this cycle.
and where destiny may fall, the wheel will spin. That's what they told me to say. So, Feeling so much with this card. You have the magician and the wheel of fortune. I mean, sitting right. Look at this. Right underneath this, the, this could be a whole year cycle. So, this to me, this situation was happening for like a year. Because this, it, it, it this takes a whole year to complete. You see all, all the, the fix-ons or whatever, I don't even know what it is. But it's all the seasons, in my view, Okay, which I probably could do a little bit more information on that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but it, in all actuality, to me, this is a year. Okay, and then you got the see all these circles. I'm just I'm feeling what I feel. So now that you've said something. Now, now life is moving because I felt I feel that before when you didn't say anything, life was stagnant, and I want to cry right now. They got me. Oh my God! This took like, like see this card right here. This loving communication towards manifesting a new reality it took a lot for you to say. There you go. Take it as what I said. I don't want to get, because I'm just saying what it means, because if I get into what I feel, I'm going to get into emotion. Okay. There it is. Oh, that was shoot. It's hook. You to be brave and bold and assertive as what the emperor says okay to do this now that the wheels spun you can sit in your power wow he did good you did good. That was a lot. This card, this row, you manifest the disc because you use your mouth, your mind, your logical mind, and said, I believe in more. I believe in more than this. More than what's going on in my life. I believe in more. I got to complete the cycle. I got to go and walk about. To learn about this equal giving and receiving. The, the giving aspects. 
brand new inspiration towards communication, towards manifesting your destiny, man. Wow. I love it. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Investing in yourself, man. Stop investing in everybody else. It's too much shit. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. Alright, y'all, let's see. Ooh, that was a lot, huh? Alright. Fairies, what you got to say? This is going to be a message straight from them. Okay? Straight from them. I'm not going to put any assumptions on anything. These cards have... Uh, this is the very oracle. So it gives you, uh, it's, you know, we have its own comments at the bottom. Own meanings of the card. So we're going to go straight from what Spirit wants you to know. Okay? And go from there. Alright, let's see. I know I got my fan on, y'all, so. And I'm sick. Alright, we're going to give you a non on the bottom. Eight of winter. You have what it takes. If only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Three of autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Be compassionate for your creative talents. The High Priestess. Trusting your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. Nine of Spring. Protect the fruits of your labors. Protect, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental con conservation. Ten of winter. The resolution of difficulties. A weight lifted off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or codependency. Ego. The illusion of being trapped. Placing too much importance on material items. Getting caught up in fear and worry. For a summer, being distracted and failing to see a mythic, a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. Nine of summer, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Four of Autumn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So this is all about what transpired in the, the past reading. And there take on things. That's what I'm seeing. Bottom of the deck, awakening. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in the action. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not going to compensate on a, what spirit wanted to say. This is the Mythical Shaman Oracle. I love this deck. Um, this is going to be in a in very in-depth detail of what the shamans want to tell you. We're going to do that again.
always in a damn shuffle. <laughs> That's what they tell me. Okay. Alright. Here we go. And this is them. The Vision Quest. Love that. The essence of this card. In the vision quest, you face your fear, embrace your morality, and then meet face to face with spirit. When we feel stagnant, a vision quest brings our lives into perspective. We realize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is now offering us. We remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open open a new door or write a new chapter in our lives. The invitation. Find clarity by spending time alone in nature. If you live in a city, go for walks or go go for walks in a park. If you live in a country in the country. Make sure you spend time outside in contemplation. Get off the couch. Get away from your desk. Go outside. Spirit helps those who help themselves. So set your intention and ask nature for a guiding vision for your life. The medicine. Spirit has been trying to contact you but received no answer. You are too busy with your life, and there is too much noise inside your head. Do not miss the call again. Make room for quiet time this evening. Allow yourself to become bored for a little while, and you'll be able to hear the important message trying to get through. Uh-oh. So guess what? You have... You have orders. And I'm thinking... Um, wow, it's coming directly from council, right? So you have orders. Alright, guys. You know what you gotta do. Get out your essential oils, throw them in the bathtub, get you some light music, a glass of wine if you like, if not, no biggie, light your couple of candles, and do nothing, absolutely nothing. How do you like that? And then Spirit's going to give you a message. Isn't that nice? Alright guys, I love y'all. And this has been your December, January reading. I will be taking a little time off for personal issues. If you would like a personal reading, all my information will be in the description box below. Okay guys, I will see y'all in February. Happy holidays. Namaste.